This study was conducted during the pandemic because mental health issues were expected to worsen during the outbreak's duration, Cologne says. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation, one in three adults are reporting that they are experiencing depression or anxiety during the pandemic. This is up from one in ten who reported such problems prior to the pandemic. We were driven by the COVID context, Cologne says. What we were surprised about is not only the degree of effect on loneliness but also the impact on standard and important mental health issues like depression and anxiety. Loneliness is a risk factor for many clinical conditions but there are few large-scale intervention programs. Typically, feelings of loneliness are treated with the help of mental health counselors. There are few interventions that have been shown to be effective in helping people with loneliness, depression, and anxiety. Cologne says. There are insufficient mental health professionals to meet demand, she says, adding that in many places psychiatrists won't take health insurance and few accept Medicaid. We are facing a huge mental health challenge, she says. We have a limited toolbox and a big problem.